Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Today I'm drawing Kate Bishop from Hawkeye, so let's get right into it. Um, if you haven't seen the show yet, first off, I want to recommend it. It's amazing. I really love the show and that's why I'm drawing her today. So I have my uh, pencils here. I like to usually sketch with um, some either Prismacolor, Col Erase, or Crayola. I'm using a Crayola today. And I'm just going to start sketching with that and then we can do more fine details with a mechanical pencil. I think this is a really great way of just starting a sketch, just getting a reference photo, starting off light with a fun colored pencil, and then you can add in the mechanical later. So you don't have to worry about making mistakes, so just draw really lightly here. Alright, so I've got my reference from Pinterest. I'm just going to be doing a few different poses here today and drawing her um, a few different times across this page. Um, I think I'd have to say that the Hawkeye show was my favorite of the new Marvel Disney Plus series that have been coming out over the past year, year and a half. So um, I definitely was excited to draw her and of course this will probably not be the last time you see me draw her. So let me know um, if there's a specific scene, episode, or outfit that you'd love to see me draw from the show um, and I would really love to do that. Um, I know I'm a little late on this. The show came out at Christmas time and it is now the end of January, but it just didn't really fit into some of my other holiday videos and things that I wanted to get posted at the new year. So we're finally posting it and I'm really excited to share this with you. So like I said, I'm just starting to sketch this by using the reference photo. Um, I have plenty of videos on how I draw from reference. Um, if you'd like an updated version of that or if you have a specific question, let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you. During this new year, I would really love to get some more requests from you guys and just hear more about what you want to see um, this year for the channel. Um, I'd really love to just do more of your requests and tutorials and really help out you guys because that's why I'm here, that's why I make these videos. So definitely never um, hesitate to comment a question or a video idea. I love your ideas and I would really, really love to hear them. I think this drawing of Kate is turning out really cute. I just love her hairstyle and the outfits that she wears because it is around Christmas time and lots of cool coats and jackets and scarves. So really cute drawing of Kate here. I really love the way it turned out once I added the pencil. So let's go on with the second drawing we're going to do. This one I wanted to get more of her uh, superhero outfit in there and I wanted to leave her hair down so um, last time I didn't show you adding the mechanical pencil I showed you the sketching so this time I just skipped the sketching and I'm going to show you the mechanical pencil so pretty much what I'm doing is I'm still sketching but I'm um, definitely being a little more mindful of where I'm putting the pencil and I know a little bit more of where things should be at this point so it's going to look a little more finished once I start adding this mechanical pencil and of course, um, you, if you're not planning on coloring it, then you can use this to do some shading and coloring um, like I'm doing here. This is just a really fun way to dress up your sketches without having to completely finish them. I think this one's really cute. I love the expression in this one. And it just really, I think, kind of um, shows her character a little bit more in this drawing. And I also really liked her outfit in the show. I think it was really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of purple, so I, I really liked it. All right, now I'm going to show you how I add color to sketches without adding liner. So here we're doing um, a full page of Kate and I'm using this reference photo and I'm going to sketch her now with a purple colored pencil. When I'm doing a sketch that I know I'm not adding liner and I'm gonna be coloring directly on the sketch, I recommend using either a shade of pink or 
a shade of red or a shade of purple um just keeping with the warm tones i have used blues before and they actually look good as well but i would stay away from colors like orange yellow greens and really dark colors like blacks browns things like that so i would keep it kind of light and more of a warm tone that's gonna go with your drawing so i'm using purple because part of this drawing is going to be purple and I'm just sketching it out like I sketched everything. I am being a little more careful to draw lightly, um, just so I uh, make sure that I can darken the lines that I want to keep and erase the ones that I don't, but still just sketching this out. Okay, now that I have the basic sketch, I'm going to go ahead and darken the lines and really um, make some of the shadows and things like that. Not really um, shading, but just making sure that these lines are dark enough that they're not going to fade out with the marker. Hopefully this all makes sense. Um, if you have any more questions, of course, comment down below um, and let me know if you like to do this method of coloring and probably not explaining it as well as I could, but it's definitely really handy to do if you don't have a lot of time. And what I meant by adding the shadows is you can see me shading just a little bit to add just a little bit of color. And I kept this one really cartoony and cute, not realistic at all, but I just think the style is adorable and it somewhat looks like her in a cute cartoony way. And I did add stars in the background. I don't know. I just thought they were cute. Okay, now for the coloring. What I'm going to do first is add a blush tone to the cheeks, nose, eyes, and lips. Um, so just use a light pink um, color here. You could really use any color you want, but light pink is what I usually go for. And then I'm going to go in with a skin tone and fill the rest of the skin in. Really light skin tone though. And now I'm going to start um, building up the colors. Um, this has a little bit of an orangey tone to it, and I like to use that when I am doing this with sketches. I don't know, I think it just pops a little bit more. And as you can see, I just added in some of the shadows, but I'm not blending this a ton. I'm just kind of throwing some color on there. Um, and now I'm going in with an even darker color to even like kind of outline the face and just really um, kind of bring it to life and bring some shape and uh, shadow to it. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this. You can just kind of throw it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going a little bit darker even yet. And I'm going to, you know, make the shadows of the eyes and the nose. And just kind of fill this in just so, um, because there is no line art, you can see the lines um, that would be there if you did do the line art. And then, of course, the eyebrows. And I'm sorry for my hair getting in the camera right there. I usually tie it up when I film, but sometimes I forget. So that's what that is. And then I outline the eyes um, just to add some color there. And now I'm going to go in with a reddish maroon color just to kind of um, add some pinky color to the lips. Just give it a little more life. And then I added a little of that same color on the eyelids just for a little bit of a makeup look and just a little bit on the cheeks. It all just kind of ties together when you use the same color for all of that. And now I'm blending it back in with the original pink tone. 
Okay, now I'm going to do her hair. It is really dark. It's almost black. So I'm just going in with a super dark gray color. And I am going to leave some white space just so it kind of pops a little bit and has those really bright highlights. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy here with blending. Um, like I said, this is just simple and we're going um, for quick and easy here. So just leaving those white highlights, even though it's not completely realistic, will make it look really cute and um, definitely make it stand out and not look so flat. And now I'm going with a little bit of brown color because I did say her hair is not completely black. It's got a little bit of a brown tone to it. So I'm adding that brown just to kind of add some warmth to the color and make it not look so um, desaturated. Okay, now I'm starting on her outfit. There is a lot of purple on it, but there is some gray. So I'm just going in with that, adding a little texture. And, of course, it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of adding it in there where I think it should be. And then I'm just deepening some of those shadows, making some outlines. Pretty much I follow the same process for every part of the drawing. It doesn't matter if it's the skin or the hair or the outfit. Just all kind of starting light and building up the colors. Here I started a little bit more with the outline and added some of the darker colors in first, but I am going in with the purple just to start kind of adding those pops of color to the outfit. And now I'm going in with this really pretty purple color. Um, and filling that in. This color is really pretty and I would actually love to create like a character just designed off that one Copic color. It's just so pretty and I really love the way it looks. And I'm not sure if her outfit actually has any of this pink on it but I just wanted to add it. I, I just wasn't looking at the reference at this point and I just thought that it would tie in the color of her face. So keep in mind that you don't always have to draw a character exactly like they are. Um, I just have fun with it and you don't have to do it 100%. You can still tell who this is and I think just the colors all go well together so that's why I added it. Alright and that's about all you have to do for this drawing. I know it's simple but I think it's really cute and I hope you learned something today. Um, now I'm just kind of going in and reinforcing some of that purple color, adding some stars to the background. I just think that the stars are really cute and give it that superhero vibe. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Um, definitely this color palette, I would love to create another character with it. I think it's really cool and I really like this. Let me know if you want to see me draw Kate Bishop again. Um, and like I said, what scene, what outfit, you know, let me know what you want to see. Um, or if there's a technique that I use in this video or something like that that you just want to know how to do, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the end result here. Really fun video. Had a great time with you guys today. And I hope you were drawing along with me. Hope your drawings turned out amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!